Okay, hey guys, welcome back. This is the second video in the series that talks about downloading this um, template class into your Canvas. And so basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you how to change the colors and the fonts of the buttons and the banners. Okay, so to do that, what I did was I just went into edit and then I deleted three of the buttons and I changed them from what they said before to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for the teacher that wants to do it um, by days of the week. Okay, so now to change out the button colors and fonts and all that good stuff, it's actually done in a different program. It's not done in Canvas. The program is called Canva and Canva is a graphic design program that's free. Um, another cool thing about that Canva program is that it does have a free educator upgrade account. So by me turning in my um, school email address and then a pay stub proving that I still work there, Canva gave me access to tons more of graphic design elements as being part of the educator account. But anyway, you can do all this stuff for the free account without having to worry to sign up for the educator account. So I put the links down here for you to change the buttons, to change the banner, you just click on the links. So here we're gonna go to change the buttons and that's gonna open up Canva. Like I said, Canva is a not connected to Canvas at all. It's just kind of annoying because they have the same name, they sound similar, but Canva is a web design, um, graphic design program that's free. Okay, so when you click on that link, it's gonna take you to my team, Angela Lawrence's team. Okay, my team here, this is all my shared graphics. So I have my shared buttons and banners and thumbnails and the meet the teacher slides. And this is um, buttons from the, ooh, looks like somebody's in here right now editing. That's funny. Hello. Um, actually, if you want to see people, I've got a ton of people. I have 465 people who have gone in and edit them from schools all over the country, gone in to edit and to um, make their Canvas page. So that's pretty cool that I'm able to give back to all the people who poured into me over the years and learning this technology. It's really cool to be able to like pay it forward um, and see everybody else using the stuff. Anyway, so let's go ahead and change the button. Okay, so I know I wanted to say Monday. Got a Monday button, so here is my one that's already done. When I look at it and say, you know what, I don't really love these uh, dots. So I'm going to click on that and hit backspace on my computer and I'm going to get rid of the dot. Okay, and I want it to be a Monday button, so I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to come over here to elements and that's where I can get the little um, clip art graphics. And I'm going to say I want it to be a, a sun because Monday is all about waking up in the morning. Okay, so that's a cute sun. And I'll put my son there. And then, you know, I don't want the scripty font. My little kids can't read the scripty font. Oh, undo. Didn't want all that. Just want to get rid of that scripty font. Okay. And then I want to change it to say Monday. And if you hang it right, like drag it around with the mouse, it'll give you the little guidelines so you know it's centered. Okay, so now I've got Monday. And Monday only has six letters. And I know that like Thursday is really long. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that my all of my days of the week can be the same size. Okay, so now I've got my Monday button. I'm happy with that. Instead of coming down and redoing the Tuesday one, you just want to hit this copy and copy. And it'll give you everything like lined up perfectly. So now I don't have to mess with anything. I can just Tuesday and Wednesday. All right. And so Wednesday, I think of like, oh, you see Wednesday so long. Okay. So I have to drag that down. Um, what graphic can I use for Wednesday? Let's go with maybe like a camel since it's hump day. There we go. Okay, got my That's cute. Wednesday graphic and Tuesday for me is Taco Tuesday, so I'm going to go with Taco. 
I'm just messing around. Obviously, you guys can make these with buttons that um, kind of match your course curriculum, like science or like literally anything you put in there. If you put in science, social studies, you get tons of related graphics. So it's a really cool program. Um, but now I've got the buttons the way I want them. You know, I'm going to change the color. Up here, if you click on that, this gives you the color that it is. You've got a palette made for you. You can put in a hex code if you know the code for the color that you want. Or you can click on the rainbow and kind of play around with it so you get the color you want. So I don't have a hex code, but we're going to make them all different colors. Okay, so Monday is going to be that color. And then Tuesday, I'm going to come back into my color. And I'm going to go with a lighter color for Tuesday. And then Wednesday. Okay, so now I've got my buttons the way I want them. I'm ready to move them into Canvas. All right, to move the buttons into Canvas, I've got to save them to my computer. So I'm going to come over here to this download option. And PNG is what it um, suggests, and we're going to leave it on that. It's just a bigger file. It's bigger than a JPEG, but it's the same thing. So we'll leave that. And then it shows me that I've got 28 buttons in here. I don't want to download all 28 buttons. I just want the first three. So I'm going to choose this and then come over here and select the first three buttons because those are the only ones that I want to edit or save to my computer. Then I choose done. I've got the three that I want and download. And then Canva is going to download them. Okay, we can close that. And they're down at the bottom here on the left and it puts them in a zip file for you. So you can double click to get the zip file open. Sorry, my studio button is down here. My computer's not feeling it, there we go. And um, so there's, there's my three buttons, but they're compressed. So I have to choose extract all and tell it where I want to extract them to, which I'm just extracting them to my download folder. Okay, now they're on my computer. So now once they're on my computer, now I can take these buttons over to the Canvas program and upload them onto Canvas. All right, so I'm going to go down here and find my Canvas class. That's Facebook. Where is Canvas? There it is. Okay. Got my canvas class. I'm going to come to the top and I'm going to choose edit. And so now I can put my buttons in the chart or the table. So I'm going to click in Monday and I actually don't want any extra spaces. So I'm just going to backspace to make sure it's all the way to the top. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here and choose embedded image. And I'm going to go get that file. Okay, so here I'm telling it where am I going to put this file into? Well, I want to put it into Canvas, and I want to put it into this particular Canvas. Okay, and now I've got to go get it from my computer. All right, so I choose to upload it, and nope, these aren't the ones I want. Those are ugly. I'm going to come over here. There they are. Okay, so I've got my Monday button, and I choose to open it. And then if I want the immersion reader to be able to read the graphic, I can just type in whatever the word is. Uh, the button dimensions are already set perfectly, so I just choose update. And I've got my Monday button in there. Okay, cool. Let's repeat those steps for Tuesday. All right, so I'm going to go to embedded image. I want to put it in Canvas, and I want to put it in this course. I'm going to go get it from my computer. Tuesday and open. Oh, let's make it Tuesday. Okay. And my last button, I'm going to repeat the same process. So do you remember where we're going? Yep, that's right. We're going to go over here to embed image. And then we're going to put it in Canvas. We're going to put it in this class. And we're going to upload it. Okay, we grab our Wednesday. And the reason why I'm renaming these is because the Immersion Reader 
for graphics, it reads the doesn't read the text, it reads whatever the file name is. And so I want to call it Wednesday. Okay, so now I've got my buttons, they look great. Actually kind of feeling the no little dots. Um, but oh, they don't look right. What's going on there? Okay. Oh, I already linked them. Okay, so let's go back. Back, 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 back. And let's fix that. Edit. All right, what's going on with my buttons here? I think when I come here, I need to hit the arrow key over and then enter to make some space. Okay, so that's gonna work perfectly. So now I need to link them because before this said, um, meet the teacher. So now I needed to go to the Monday page. So I had to go into pages and I had to make a page called Monday. And I did that before this video so the video wouldn't be too long. But um, now that I've made my Monday page, I'm gonna click on my button or whatever I wanna link. And I'm gonna come over here to the links section and I'm gonna go to pages and I'm gonna say, okay, I want this to link to my Monday page. And that's it. This text, I also want this text to link to my Monday page. And I want this button to link to my Tuesday page. And this text to link to Tuesday. And this button to link to Wednesday. And this text to link to Wednesday. And then I hit save. Okay. And now when I go back to my home page, now my buttons now link to where I want them to go. Okay, and you can put edit and put in your own content. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you have, know that we're kind of just scratching the surface of what we're going to be going over in this channel. I have 20 effective strategies for how to teach online. And so we're just going to take them one at a time and go through um, each strategy in a separate video. So go ahead and hit subscribe so that you can get caught up on everything that's going on. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you were able to adjust the buttons and the banners using Canva now. Okay, thanks again. Bye-bye.